Welcome everyone. Today we're going to discuss the importance of securing sensitive information in a web application. Specifically, we're going to focus on how to protect critical data such as API keys, passwords, encryption keys, or uh, maybe any other form of keys or sensitive information you have in your application. The goal is to prevent data breaches and unauthorized access, which are major concerns for any web application. This session will focus on Laravel, a popular PHP framework, and how we can eliminate secrets from Laravel EMV files by integrating it with HashiCorp Vault to enhance security. But why are we concerned about secrets in Laravel EMV files? There are many reasons why storing secrets in your EMV file poses security concern. For example, if you accidentally commit your .env file and um, make your application get represented public, or if someone gains access to your application server, the first place they are likely going to look for secret is in the EMV file. I will demonstrate with a Laravel application that showcases this integration providing you with practical insights on how to implement your own project. I will show you how to completely store secret in HashiCorp Vault and have a Laravel retrieve and use the secrets without saving them in your system environment variables or Laravel EMV files. Just a quick little overview on Laravel. Laravel is a highly popular PHP framework used for web application development. It is known for its elegant syntax and powerful features that makes web development a pleasant and creative experience. Some of the core features of Laravel include its elegant syntax, MVC architecture, Laravel eloquent ORM for database interaction, Bleed templating engine for clean and readable code and robust security features that help uh, developers build secure applications from ground up. Here is a little overview of HashiCorp Vault. HashiCorp Vault is a powerful tool designed to manage secrets and protect sensitive data. It provides a secure way to store and access secrets such as API keys, passwords, and any form of secrets your application uses. Vault helps to ensure that sensitive information is protected and access is tightly controlled. Some of the key features of HashiCorp Vault include um, secret management, access control, audit login, um, secret listing, and uh, renewal. For the demo, these are some of the few steps we're going to be taking. Um, we're just going to install Laravel, install some packages um, like Laravel Cell. We also have a package we're going to install that manages the EMV, uh, allows us to override the EMV file in Laravel. And also we are going to set up a Docker container for um, HashiCorp Vault. And uh, Laravel is going to talk to the Laravel and the HashiCorp Vault API um, using some Laravel packages as well. Take a couple of steps. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is to set up the, the environment. And in this, I'm going to be installing Laravel. I'm going to set up a Docker container that's going to run Laravel and HashiCorp Vault, and also install some Laravel packages. For this demo, I'm going to install Laravel Filament. Laravel Filament, it's a framework in Laravel that you can use to build admin interface. And this demo, I'm just going to create a simple contact form. And the reason for this is to enable us to demonstrate um, that um, this application is able to use secrets from HashiCorp Vault instead of the usual Laravel EMV. And also we are going to also demonstrate um, by logging into the Docker container that run, run that is running Laravel. And we're going to check in the environment when we switch to HashiCorp Vault 
and we'll make sure that those environments are not visible there even when you run print env command uh, in linux or even when you try to dump the env uh, global environment so let's get started so i'm just going to run this command um laravel new world to create the application i'm going to use paste um yeah initialize git so as you know this might really take time setting up the environment takes time so i'm going to stop the video and i'm going to set up the environment because of time and i will come back and walk you through everything that i've done in setting up the environment i'm going to also be writing a script that interacts with um HashiCorp both basically Laravel services and I'm going to also um, going to override the Laravel env function there are so many ways to do this but I want to override Laravel env function by doing so I can implement my own env function um, by inheriting from the other one and I'll be able to get the env function to um, interact with um, HashiCorp Vault when Laravel requests for environment variables. Right now we've successfully uh, set up our environment and uh, what we did we set up a docker container and as you can see in this docker compose file which is actually Laravel cell docker compose file this is generated by Laravel however we added some entry here for the vote and as you can see we had coded this here ideally this should not be here um, for example when you're running these in kubernetes there's so many ways to do this to avoid doing something like this but this is just for demo purpose so we have successfully set this up and now i'll be able to assess um, the vault by going to this uh, URL and uh, log in with uh, the vault root password. Um, the next thing I also want to show you is a package that I install and this is the composer file and the composer file composer.json file I install filament package and also install this little package here and also um, I added the a script here a helper class so the reason why I have this here is for it to um, override the Laravel env function I'm going to show you that in a bit I also wrote some scripts that will enable me to work with HashiCorp Vault um, more fluently from Laravel. So I wrote this. This is just a command that pushes the current env file we have here for to it pushes that to the vault uh, to avoid to uh, just for convenience instead of going there and typing in all the all these commands um, i can just run the 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 command the command line and it's going to do it for me so i also wrote some scripts and these scripts are just um, i call this one secret and this secret class um, is the one that tries that talks to the vault and it makes api call to the vault using the vault address which is currently in the env file and um, also some other stuff it also have features for caching uh, in case if you want to cache it and to enable um, reduce the um, the request to the vault and speed things up um okay and uh, 
So this is what the, the, the override I did on the ENV. So now that I have this here, um, I've done some um, coding here. So here I'm just checking for the sum of the sample. And I'm saying here that any secret does that, but this should not be um, gotten from the vault. It should get it from the deep from the Laravel EMV file. So this represents Laravel EMV file. And if it doesn't meet all any of this, it goes to this function called vault. And what this function function does is just call in my secret um, class, which is this one here. Um, basically what it does is do some check-ins to know if you should go to vault to get the secret. Like I said, this is uh, generated by Laravel filament, which is a very powerful framework. You can build on top of Laravel that you can use to generate things like this. So I have created an account and now I can log in. And like I said earlier, it's just a simple uh, demo um, contact form where you can add contacts. So as you can see, the application works. Next thing we are going to do is to um, put this secret. If I decide to move this now, just to show you that it's going to fail. If I remove, um, let me just remove, let me remove everything here. And uh, if I refresh this page, you can see we get 500. Let me pull it back. And everything should work fine. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is to put the secret in the vault. So let's go to the vault and create part of the secret. So the only thing I need to do here, um, I'm going to create a key value secret on the secret engine, key value, and I'm going to call this demo staging. And this is because I have this here. Um, these are set of configuration that my script uses to um, talk to the vault. Um, this part, um, demo staging, uh, let's just give it 10 versions and enable this. And that's all I need to do because I have a script that I can use to populate this. What the script is going to do is just to copy all these env files and save them in the vault. So let's run the script. It's going to run cell artisan vault demo. You see, so it says um, the environment has been successfully pushed to vault server. So let's check it out. So we do a refresh here and because of, for security reason, it does this um, because it doesn't save um, your password in the browser. So now we are in, you can see it has created this for me and you can see all the secrets here. Uh, here and at this point our application still works still talks to the database and what we're gonna do is going to get rid of everything except our configuration and when we go back kitchen refresh let's log in back as you can 
we're still able to log in the application. And as you can see, there is no env file. And in this env file, there's no um, secret sim. Although we have this here, and that's where um, the advanced features of Vault comes into play, where you can rotate secret and do all sort of things just to make sure that you're not exposing those secrets. One, of, one other thing I also want to show you is that those ENV in the environments are no longer there as well. And also, you cannot find those ENV files when you try to dump the ENV global variable. So we're going to go into, uh, we're going to run uh, print env. So as you can see, when you run this command, print env command, you can see here that those env variables are not here. Uh, we're also going to try checking the env global variables. And uh, we can do, we can investigate this using um, Laravel PHP artisan. I will PHP artisan tinker and we can just dump the variable. Uh, as you can see here, um, all those um, database passwords are no longer here. All these are coming from the Docker Compose file. So this is quite interesting that Laravel is able to still keep working and Laravel doesn't even know that it's getting those EMV uh, values from the HashiCorp vault. Thank you for being part of our demo. In summary, secure secret management is crucial for any Laravel application or any application. By leveraging HashiCorp vault, we can enhance the security of applications and ensure that sensitive data is protected. Using Vault with Laravel provides centralized secret management, secure storage, and automated secret rotation, making it ideal solution for managing sensitive information. The practical demonstration shows how easy it is to integrate with Vault with Laravel, securely store, and retrieve secrets and implement best practices for secret management. I encourage you to start leveraging uh, Laravel and HashiCorp Vault in your projects to enhance security at your sensitive data. Thank you for your attention. And now I am open for any questions you may have. And thank you for attending. If you have further questions, I uh, would like to connect. Uh, you can reach me uh, via my contacts. I've also provided a link to the demo and GitHub and where you can um, actually clone it and just play around with it.